And he'd say, don't worry about me. Because I sit at the throne of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And I share that with you because that would be the message that he would want to leave with us. Now, I want to say three things quick. This nice highway that goes to Georgetown, if you remember, Wallace McKnight was the highway commissioner for many years. And he worked hard and he struggled because he had to fight to get that funding for this region of South Carolina. And I can tell you now that he was a big force in coming from Nine Mile Curve. Ronnie Sab and, and Carl would share this with you. But some 13 million and 300,000. And then the first fees bypass around Andrews. About 29 million dollars. This was Wallace McKnight now. And he took, he planted the seed and he left the seed and gave us the fertilizer and water for us to move forward. But I'm happy to tell you today on behalf of Ronnie Sab and, and certainly Carl Allison and many others, the other night, his vision, we needed $41 million to be set up, appropriated. That money was set up to finish phase two of the Andrews bypass. And in, in 2018, 2000, early 19, that road is going to be completed and they, they will be headed the highway. 52 and then on the 95. The other thing I noticed, there are a lot of high hospital officials here today. And I'm telling you, a man that spent his life with these individuals that are in this room to make health care better for those that simply did not have health care. You know, Wallace McKnight helped the poorest of poor and the wealthiest of wealthy, but he always kept that Christian love, compassion, and wisdom. And today, we enjoy it one of the hot, finest hospital systems anywhere in the southeast right here in Georgetown, Canada. And I can tell you now, Reverend Wallace McKnight was part of that effort. And the last thing I'll tell you, one of the first memorial services, Richard, one of the first memorial services for Dr. Martin Luther King's memory was started right here in Andrews. And he started the scholarship fund it was one of the most original funds, one of the most original peaceful marches anywhere in this state, but Wallace McKnight would have never taken credit for any of it.